have Braun Strowman versus Tyson Fury for a crown jewel. This is obviously a part of that Fox deal where they were trying to mix MMA characters and boxers with wrestlers to bring that so-called real sports feel. And the way I look at this, it's not really believable. It seems like the WWE, once again, is trying to recreate magic that's not there. Like, they had their confrontation Monday trying to recreate that Tyson and Austin energy, but it's not there. The crowd energy wasn't there. The, the, the viewership in HD, it just looked too glossy. The commentary sucked. And most importantly, Braun Strowman just doesn't have the credibility to go against Tyson Fury. They wasted Strowman for, for the last three years now. And here's the difference between the Big Show and Mayweather, in case anybody want to bring that up. The Big Show already had the heavyweight title. The Big Show was already dominated. The Big Show had already beaten Brock Lesnar. Even though, yes, he was looked up as a joke at times, a lot of times. But he has W's of the bro uh, against Brock Lesnar. And don't forget his dominant ECW run. So the Big Show Mayweather situation was totally different. The Big Show has accomplished a lot. Braun Strowman, on the other hand, how are we supposed to believe that he couldn't even beat Seth Rollins? Every time when it comes to getting it done in the ring and winning the big title, he can't do it. But we're supposed to believe that this guy can hang with one of the best fighters in the world. Even with Stone Cold and Tyson. Stone Cold had accomplished a lot. He was already built as a badass and you would look at it like he maybe can hang toe to toe with Tyson. Even though in reality he couldn't. But he made you believe just by his energy, his aggressive energy, his demeanor. The alpha male instinct that he had. He had you believing, yeah, he could hang toe to toe with Tyson. I remember being in high school, everybody was talking about Tyson and Austin. Then you had key components to sell it. Vince Vince did a great job at selling it when he told him, You ruin it, damn it. You ruin it. Then you had J.R. and Lawler. Tyson and Austin. Tyson and Austin. Oh yeah, it's breaking loose. You had all these components that make those moments magical. Even with Floyd and Big Show. It still it still was magical because they both knew how to sell certain parts of the story. Strowman and Fury, it seemed like some they just slopped together on the last minute just for celebrity attraction. And being that Strowman, now they're trying to give him a knockout punch type blow. But yet, yeah, just last week, you was catching L's to Seth Rollins, the man half your size. So now, we supposed to believe that you could hang, hang, hang with the hands with Tyson Fury? This goes to show you right there, logic is out the window in today's WWE. They don't know how to tell a story worth a damn. They don't know how to build credibility up for their characters no more. So, let me know what you guys think, man. I mean, this is King Eric signing out. Subscribe and hit the like button. You know what to do. Holla.